Hello and welcome. This is Stefan from my network and in this short video I would like to give you a brief introduction into Stempack Express. With this part as an example, we are showing how easy it is to set up a simulation. Let's start. What we see here is a strongly reduced and clear user interface. And mainly we are going to these five steps which guides us to the whole process. In the first step, we create a new project and enter a project name. Then we move to the next step and define our blank. Here we enter the material thickness, then we define the type of the simulation, which is a shell or solid, then we select the material and at least we import a blank geometry. The software creates automatically the blank for us. With the blank defined, we can now go to the process setup. Here we import our tools like we draw them in the CAD software in a closed condition. We assign the tools to the press RAM or to the press table like they occur in a real world tool. For spring supported tools, we need to enter a stroke and the force, and then we can check our complete tool movement in the kinematic simulation. In this example, we have only one forming operation, and so we are now finished with the process setup and can proceed to the next step. For the calculation, we can choose between a quick mode and an accurate mode, and for maximum speed, we can use all the cores that are available in our system. Now we are ready to switch to our last step, which is the post process, and we are going to checking our results. We are mostly interested in the safety zones, in the thickness and in the animation to identify any issues. If we find any problems here, we can change process parameters like forces or friction, or we going back to the CAD and modify the geometry and replace us in our process setup. In that way, we will calculate the new iteration. Let's do a recap on our workflow. In five steps, you get your simulation. Start with a new project and define your blank. Then set up your process with the tool geometries coming from the CAD system. Start the calculation and when it's finished, review the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can visit stampack.com for more information. Thank you for watching. Bye.